amazing. Uh, I feel like a champion here. Uh, I will grab my water, so give me a second. Oh, so many familiar faces. Hello, Peter. It's good to take family on the conference. <laughs> they stay with me. So, I'm Adrian, and I will be talking today about how we can maximize revenue of the multi-channel customer experience. So many good speakers here, and me, and I hope that the next slide will be the most interesting, the most smartest from my whole presentation, because it will be about me. So, that's me, I love to travel, I love uh, Finland, I love exploring new places, and uh, I'm also a freak of the gadget. I like, I like very much every technology that is, comes around me. So I got more than five smartphones, I got three smartwatches, I have electronic vacuum cleaner, and I also like all the digital software. That's why I'm using also so, uh, Frosmo. So what about me in my commercial world? I'm working with Play. For those who don't know Play, we are on the second place in the Poland. We have more than 25 market share with 10 years experience. We are a startup, so we are also focused on user experience from the very beginning. And in Play, I'm holding the position of uh, senior internet marketing manager, and I'm responsible from one hand for the website, for our self-care, everything stuff related with optimize the website, and from the other with the performance marketing, analytics, user experience, and so on. And what more is important about me, I recommend every, everyone to go on a bike, to the work. I uh, made more than 3,000 kilometers every year. And that feels me stronger and more, you know, focus on my work. So, what's the agenda for today? I will be talking about the multi-channel, about all the channels that we are thinking about. Then, a little bit about multi-channel strategy, then go to the customer journey, because it's very related with the multi-channel, and what else will be about what else. So, two minutes left, keep going, it's quite okay. So, what is a multi-channel? What is a channel? Because nowadays we're using words like cross-channel, we're using words like uh, omni-channel, and we have this multi-channel. What's about these channels? So, channels is when you just separate them. The cross-channel is about how users interact with the different device. So we have mobile, we have apps, we have website, we have smart TV, and the clue is to get this customer know what he explore and what he want to find in our content. Then we have the omni-channel. I think omni-channel is a step forward with the biggest idea how to interact with different channels and give the best value for the customer to decide on which channel is the best and want to buy. And we have the multi-channel marketing. And what is a multi-channel? Multi-channel is that you can interact with every single channel. And every of this channel, like social media, physical location, website, could have own strategy. And we optimize these channels to the best effort and give the best value for the customers. What is important in this, that we give opportunity to the clients to decide with which channel they want to interact, which channel they prefer with communicate with our brand. Uh, I just wanted to ask who of you has already implemented multi-channel strategy in your company? Hands up. There's someone? One person. Yeah, great. <laughs> Many companies. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's good, because, like I mentioned, people decide 
on which segments they are. They decide on which channel they want to prefer. So we have to segment and understand our people. Because interaction with the website is without emotion. So when we are just trying to optimize the channel that's via website, we have to think about why these different people are going to our website and what we can do with them. And I'm trying to ask myself all the time, why my website is better or is the same like a physical store? And the answer is that our website is quite huge. We have more than 6 million users per month. Our traffic is bigger than in whole shops in Warsaw. Uh, the sales is also bigger than in whole shops in, in Warsaw. And our website is also important channel for interaction with customers, with the sales service. And I was searching about the information why people decide to buy in the different channel. Why they why they looking at information. So I was split for the three different groups for the who buys by e-commerce, for the who buying point of sales, and this who buying by call center. And I figure out that website is in every situation very important source of information. So I ask myself, is that true? Why did they don't buy it? What's the problem with the website that don't have the most of the cells. And that's because we are different. We are, have different attitude for, for penetration, the different channels. So if we're looking for the website, we see exactly that people who buy them decide because it's cheaper, it's faster, it's less effort, and we can shop without leaving home. That's more benefits. But when we are looking to the point of sales, we're looking that the people decide to buy them because they can ask. They can ask about offer details, about contract details. And they have this direct contact with the shop assistant. So I can ask, hey, which phone you can recommend me? I recommend you this because this is what I'm buying for my wife for the birthday and so on. So this is this interaction that you can just have in the different channel. And there is a group of people who are buying by call center. I really don't understand it, but <laughs> uh, from this point of view, people say that it's also fast, it's also cheaper, and what is benefits of this channel that they contact to me. They know exactly when my contract ends and they and they calling me the right time. And I was starting to thinking how to combine the things. How to just, with this knowledge, set up a multi-channel strategy. And my answer is, it's complicated. Because you have different segment people. They buying in a different way. So I think in the multi-channel, it's more than omni-channel. You should think about different approach to finding your customer and make them sales. So have a look. This is a product page from our website. It's a Huawei PH Lite, very popular model nowadays. And we can, of course, click order, go into the shopping cart, and buy it. That's the normal e-commerce path. But we can interact with the customer. We can interact by using live chat. We can interact by leave your phone numbers. But we can do a lot more, thanks to the big data or thanks to the knowledge of our customer, we can catch the, our retention clients and send in the real time information about this customer is in the retention process. He is able to shop another contract and they got instant call for the call center. Hi, you are looking for some new phones? Maybe now we have a good offer for Huawei Pay H Live and maybe will be fit for you. So we're finding this Conclusion to catch this customer in the right moment with the right time. The same story is with buy online, uh, find online, get in store. So it's very common. If someone don't like to buy 
by your website. Don't force him. Just give him a possibility to reserve your product offline and make it a perch uh, in the whole ecosystem. And of course, personalization. So it's also important. Uh, the slide is sponsored by Frosmo. Bad joke, sorry. Um, personalization is the answer of those who want to buy online, but they're afraid because they don't know that his choice is good. They don't know the paths they decide is correct. That's why we're using Frosmo to help our customer decide right. So we have the whole personalization process, recommendation, even we change the, our whole customer uh, path on the, the website to make it easier to find what they really want. And the last thing, but also important, if we know the customers and we get him, it's important to find him on the internet. We can use a lot of technology. This is some example, like we can use uh, email remarketing, we can use display remarketing, we can use our self code to send a notification. But if you catch a customer, it's very important to, do, to don't leave him with the other brand. And the customer journey. Customer journey is also very strict with a multi-channel because when we optimize our online campaigns, we had to know which channel, which source give you the best value and how to find them uh, on the internet. So we're using individual attribution. So in the old one world, there was so many interaction we're using last click attribution and we see that the search gets all credits, that search gets the conversion, but it's not true. When we're going deeper and understand the whole journey of our customer, we see that was a lot of interaction before. We have VOD, we have contacts, mailing, Facebook, and the individual attribution is about giving the right wages to the right source. So what is the advantages of using individual attribution? First of all, it shows and measure all interactions on the shopping path. The second one, the more effective channels in the sales gets the better credit. And what is important to get the whole picture, it should be based on the econometric models. So it should know how every single uh, cookie, how every interaction also have this impact on sales offline. And how it looks on the play, we know that multi-channel is very important when we optimize our media plans because in the model total orders with post click and post view, more than 60% orders comes from multi-channel. In the total orders, post click and new services, we have more than 40%. So it's strictly important to optimize your budget and allocate between the partners and source to get the best results. Of course, we don't know that the individual model is the best because no one knows. We are living in the world that we don't have this possibility to check. We don't have two parallel worlds to decide that the model is the best, but we should choose one and believe it and optimize. Uh, what is really important for, from my perspective is also the contribution of sales. We should know that what we're doing online or what we're doing offline is strictly has impact on both channels. So like you see, uh, like you see on the presentation, offline communication also had impact on online and in other words, online has also impact of offline sales and it's on based on our econometrics models too. And last thing to, to remember from the customer journey that um, every category has different impact. I'm talking about telecommunication company, but if we're just going to the MC, M, uh, MCG uh, category, we see that the uh, return from online media is 20% higher than average return on other media. So 
when we just combine customer journey, when we're trying to find out the right paths to the, our orders, we should know what also happened in the offline world to get the whole picture. And this is around the multi-channel. What else? So, I think that very important for us to know that multi-channel is already there. Everybody has some kind of multi-channel strategy. We optimize our source uh, channels, but the future is more about omni-channel and connecting the customer across multiple touch points. And I got three examples of good, very good, I think the best one, uh, multi-channel strategy. And one of this is Apple, of course. I just asking myself, why Apple always win? Why Apple always win? Because, because the days that we are just selling stuff are gone. That's true. We don't selling just stuff. Today, in the race of the customer, we have to, as a marketers, create entire ecosystem to order the best value for them. It's, it's a clue. And Apple do it very, very well. Uh, they, you have this full, full experience with the Apple because you go to the store and you have this experience that product is around you. It's not about selling the product. It's about everything is with the customer. So you are going to website, you can reserve your product, go to the, uh, to the physical store, and the journey never ends. Because when you buy the product, it's more about the services they have. You have the iTunes, uh, you have uh, the operation system, that will also give you the nice experience and you will be that something like love this brand forever because it gives you this user experience from the very beginning to the end. Uh, another example, Rebecca Minkoff. Uh, it's a quite uh, new player on the market. Uh, I recommend to watch the movie on YouTube uh, about uh, the digital transformation. but. What this brand do is that he invest in digital platform, he invest in all technology and bring in to the physical store. So you can interact and easily find your clothes, check your size, check on which sector in the shop is. So all this give you this opportunity to, that the two worlds of offline and online are connected. So that's the nice idea of creating value. And Burberry, it's a small example, but also very nice about how we can do our multi-channel strategy in a different way. They want to just uh, be on the Asia market, but um, it was hard to manage by Facebook, Instagram, and, uh, and other sorts of innovation that we are using nowadays. They, that's why they, uh, they decide to use China WeChat and Japan's line. This completely new source are, goes strictly to the audience in this market. And they find the best, one of the best uh, event in Shanghai around this uh, application. I also strongly recommend to watch the, the, the video. I didn't upload this here because I believe we don't have time too much to, to watch all this stuff. And that's almost the end. I just want to say that we should remember that multi-channel is already here, like I mentioned. We have to think about uh, omni-channel board and what is important, why companies are winning nowadays, uh, why they're growing, because they're building ecosystems around human behavior and human beings. So if we wanna set a products 
and services that are relevant to the customer. We should build this ecosystem in the connected way. Thank you.